So you're playing Minecraft and you're trying to build a modern house, but you don't know how. Well, today we've got you covered. After watching this video, you should know how to build a simple modern house. Let's just get right into it. Before you build, you need to pick a good terrain. And I have found some terrain like this. This, which I consider a good terrain. There's mountains and a nice structure over there. The sun is shining and there's a river down below. And yeah, so I like this place, so the modern house will be right here. First, if you need to, you can fix, us, fix up the terrain a bit. So now the floor is more flat, and I think we're ready to move on. Okay, so the first step to building a house is to mark out where the house will be. And when you have this, then you can add extensions from the side. So what you can do is you can do something like this. To make it more interesting, you don't just want a rectangle, because that is not worth playing minecraft and then this will be our front front entrance right here so you will walk in right here so this is after we extended everything and you can kind of imagine these being walls and then how the house will look once it's roast so before we move on i want to talk about the color palette of modern houses so modern house has a lot of white you might know and it also has a lot of contrast so it's good to add some dark in it where you have white. So a good pair is like white concrete, gray concrete, and dark and birch planks. And then the cords are for additional block type, like stairs. If you want white stairs, you should use cord stairs. So now we know what color we can choose from, we can start raising up the walls. So the first step is just to outline. All you need to do is go all around and just raise it up to like three or four blocks. So right now, all of the walls are raised, and we can go into next step, which is windows. So modern house has a lot of windows, and they're mostly pretty big. I like glass panes better than glass most of the time, because they just look more modern. And I like these two colors, just because they fit the dark and white concretes. So we can start adding in windows. So I want to add a lot of windows on the back, because that's where the sun shines from. So I'm just gonna start adding in. So on the back, I just added two windows like this. Now let's move on to the sides and the front. Okay, so now we just added some basic windows around the sides. And I also plan on making this area the garage for cars parking. And this area to be the living room and bathroom and stuff. So the next step is to finish off the ceiling and go into the interior and do some fine tuning for the windows and stuff. So if you want to keep things simple, you can make the roof flat like I did here. So this is the back side of the roof. And yeah, so when the roof is finished, we can move on to the interior. So first you want to start out by raising up your room walls, which is right here and like right here. So this is roughly what the walls will look like. And now definitely we need a floor, right? So we can put in the floor now. So the floor, I've decided to use birch planks because that's in our color palette, and I think it also just fits modern houses very well. Alright, so this is what it looks like with the floor put in. And so I think the first thing we should make is a staircase that goes up. And staircases should be near the front entrance, so that you can you don't have to walk inside to get up the stairs. You can just get up when you walk in. Now I think that's a pretty nice staircase, we can just make it better. And this is only a general tutorial, so if you want to change anything, feel free to. And it's definitely not the only way to build a modern house. So this room right here, I decided to be the living room. So we can throw down some carpets and couches and that good stuff. So this house is pretty compact, so I decided to leave the living room pretty compact as well. And this room, I decided it should be the kitchen, and this room should be a bathroom. Alright, so this is the simple kitchen that we have built. Again, it's pretty compact with the house. So now we can move on to the bathroom in here. So you can design your bathroom however you want. But this is just a simple design with a shower, some sinks, and a toilet. Alright, so the bathroom is now finished. It's pretty compact, as always. And now, the downstairs is finished for this house, and now we can move on to the upstairs. So here I utilized the flat roof that we decided to do and made a balcony area. And for the balcony, it's very simple. It's just seats and maybe a table in the middle. Like, you won't really put anything in your real balcony either. Alright, so simple balcony like this. 
Alright, so I quickly made the walls for the bedroom area, and this will be the first bedroom. I'm planning on making two bedrooms, one right here and one at the end right here. So this is my bedroom right here. And again, you can build it however you want. Alright, so this is what the upstairs area looks like. We have a balcony right here, and we have a second balcony right here, and two bedrooms across from each other. So bedroom number one and bedroom number two. Yeah, so I think the upstairs area looks pretty good. So now we can work on the garage. And the garage, we will just keep it very simple. Alright, so this is... I just added some lanterns in the garage and like a sink. Sometimes like a garage can have a sink for you to wash your hands. And we can also make a entrance to the main area of the house in the garage. So it looks something like this. So the interior looks pretty good, but there's one thing that we need, that is lighting. So I already added some end rods in the kitchen, but we can definitely add a lot of light in the living room and like upstairs. The lighting doesn't really... you can do it a lot of different ways. And all you need to make sure is that every area gets some light. We can put some lights in the outside area. And in the bedroom, we can, you know, have end rods. Uh, up here maybe yeah so i think the house is pretty lit in terms of lighting so yeah after this stage it's really just adding some details and fine tuning until you're satisfied with the final product so this can take, take time maybe like the next day you come you have new ideas yeah so i think it's safe to say that we have finished our modern house so now let's just see what we have done so on the exterior, as you can see, we started by marking out the square, raise up the walls, and then adding windows. So this is what the exterior looks like. On the interior, we just added this simple floor. We did a living room, we did a kitchen, and we did a bathroom. So upstairs is just two bedrooms across from each other like this. And we used the flat roof to make two balconies. And finally, the garage, we didn't do much because there isn't really that much to do. But we, all we did is we added a sink and some lanterns. So if you just take a step back, you can say that this house looks pretty good. And that's how you build a modern house. So I hope you liked today's video. Comment, like, and subscribe. And yeah, see you next video.